share this story with you all. When I was in high school, it was my, I think it was my junior year in high school, and this new girl had just come to our school. Her name was Tanya. Of course, all the names have been changed to protect the innocent or the guilty. Her name was Tanya, and she was, she came down from the north, from New York. She came looking, she was a very cute girl. And the truth, 100%, all I remember about her, she's very pretty and she had large boobs. I don't know. That's the only thing I can remember about her. Maybe I should remember more. I don't know, but that's what I remember. Anyway, Tanya, um, I saw her in the hallway. She looked lost. And I'm a friendly person, friendly, happy person. And I was like, what's up, girl? What you doing? You know, I'm going to help you. And she, you know, we struck a friendship. Remember we talked about earlier, 8 billion people. All you need to do is be brave and say hi. I was brave. I said hi to her, talked to her. And she was so happy that I came to talk to her. And we ended up starting to hang around each other. Um, a lot, I mean, here and there. Now, some of my other friends were telling me like, I don't know, Denise. I think she's just trying to use you for clout. She's just trying to use you to, to meet other people. Now you may like, why would somebody want to use you, Dr. D. Nice for clout? Well, here's the thing. Here's what happened. I, even though I wasn't like super popular in high school, I was in with all the crowds. And the reason why I was in with all the crowds was one, my brother was on the football team and everybody knew him. He wasn't like the star quarterback or anything, but he's a handsome guy and very friendly and personable and everybody knew him and he was on the football team. So, and then my best friend, she was a cheerleader. She wasn't captain of the cheerleader team, but once again, she's a very beautiful girl and everybody knew her and she was my best friend, Karen. And so I had these two people that I were, were very popular that I was super close to. My brother was just a year and a half apart. And my best friend, like my BFF, lived just, lived, just lived down the street from each other. And they kept, people kept telling me, well, I think Tanya is just trying to use you to meet a lot of people. And I mean, yeah, were they right? I don't know. Who knows? Because shortly after that, that friendship really fizzled out. I was looking around trying to find Tanya and Tanya was nowhere in sight. <laughs> I'm, let me see. She was nowhere in sight a lot of times. After she got herself settled down into the school, I was kind of kicked to the curb. You know what? It was no big deal to me. Wisdom understands that it's cliche, but it's true. Sometimes people are in your life for a reason, a season, or for a lifetime. It was obvious that Tanya was just a reason. Sometimes, you know, you don't have to feel like people are using you. I didn't feel like she was using me. She needed to meet people. And I, she met me. And you know, we didn't end up being longtime friends because that just wasn't, she was in my life for a season. And there are friends that I have were in my life for a reason. And most of the people in my math class in high school were in my life for a reason. They helped me out, helped me pass my math class because I was taking a lot of honors math and I needed their help. We needed to do it together. They were for a reason. We are not still friends to this day. And then they are people that are in your life for a lifetime. My friend Karen, the cheerleader, we're still BFFs to this day. I graduated in 19, I graduated in 1988. Do you understand me? 1988. And Karen and I have been close best friends since then. And shout out to Andrea too. She is part of our best friend trio. And then Trudy um, is also one of our friends too. So listen, don't be hurt if people, like if you're new in school or people are friends, you're friends for a little while and then they pull, you pull away from each other. It doesn't have to feel like they used you for clout or something like that. It doesn't have to be that way. Maybe they just reason, season, and lifetime. They were just season friends. You know, they were just season friends. Tanya was a season friend. Because that's wisdom. That's what wisdom does. 
than stupidness. Now stupidness, you get your panties all in a wad, mad. Oh, they were using me for clout and wanting to go up in her face and confront her. Why are you wild up? No, we don't need to do all that. They were in your life for a season and you just let them go. That's it. Well, there you have it. Wisdom and stupidness. Choose wisdom. Remember, show me your brightest. Show me your best. Show me the latest guru. God's wisdom lets theirs look like stupidness. One more, you know, I've got a lot of them. A wise person learns from other people's mistakes. You can learn from me. All right, that's the end of our show today. How's everybody doing before we log off? Let me know where you're watching from. Glad you could come. If you haven't smashed that like button yet, smash the like button. We want to make get our show. You know, we're here. I'm here every single Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. If there's subjects that you want me to tackle with my experience as being a physician and a adolescent wellness specialist, if there's stuff that you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section. I could make a whole show about it. And of course, I will give you a shout out that it came from you. Lauren, she had given me a, a subject a subject before and we talked about it, gave her a little whole, a whole shout out. So let me know in the comment section any subject that you'd love for me to talk about. Like I said before, our channel is growing. Before you know it, there's going to be hundreds of us in the live and then thousands and then tens of thousands on the live here every single Wednesday and you want to get in right now when you, when you could say like, I was there from the very beginning. That's, that's clout. That's, you know, that's, that's saying something. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, that's enough of me chattering. We are out. I'll see you all later. See you all later until next time. Get your mind right and your body tight. Get your mind right and your body tight.